So, hello everybody, it's Renee. I wanted to share with you my Altered Valentine candy box. So here it is. Um, I chose the colors that are white and beige and um, then I used pink and rose tones. So I hope you like it. Um, it looks a little bit sideways right here, so I can't really help that. Um, I had already uploaded this on YouTube and a couple of folks said that my volume was really low so I was um, thinking I needed to go ahead and redo this. So here is the um, candy box. It's one of the 10 inch Russell Stovers and boy that was really uh, yummy to be trying to eat all that candy. And um, so um, I started out with just putting some of these big flowers. They're they're like cabbage roses, I think. Um, and then I made some of my um, paper punch out flowers with the pearl center, and I love that color rose. And then these are some of my rolled book page flowers with that same color in the pearl inside of there. Um, as you can see there there's um, this butterfly I did not make this butterfly um, and then I used um, a coordinating paper and made some more of those flowers back to the butterfly um, I didn't create that but somebody made a beautiful butterfly with wire and pearls and crystal and seed beads and I absolutely love it um, I wish I could tell you who made that. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. Um, I actually put two of the butterflies together, so they're flying around the roses. Um, and then I have um, a, a little tiny, oh, back over here, another rolled flower with a sort of a mauve color um, pearl inside sort of coordinating. I love that color too. And this is one of my big flowers. Um, I use fabric, doilies, lace, eyelet, um, some seam binding, and a flower in the center to create those flowers. And that's a Saw Crafter Flatback Pearl Center. Hi Saw! They are so amazing. Um, if you haven't checked out her Zibit store, go check it out. And then I used the string of pearls and just strung around the entire box. I think it looks very romantic. Um, back to this little flower. Uh, it's a tiny rolled flower with a pearl and I have that with some of the um, twine and a little bling. And then um, this is actually a beautiful rose satin lace trim um, that I just, it was already gathered so I attached that to the top of the box. It's um, absolutely gorgeous. Goes all the way around the box. Yeah, and then um, what else am I pointing out? Yeah, I did put layers of lace on, on the bottom. You can't really see because there's so much going on as far as layering, but it is there. And then this is the um, Arctic Cake, um, and I made a um, stick pin. I love that. It's a little bodice in pink um, with some dangle charms. Um, and this attacher, I absolutely love these. I always want to use those. They're from Michaels. And this beautiful silver ornate um, charm. I got this charm somewhere uh, in a swap. I can't remember who gave it to me. Um, and then this is has a little heart key on the bottom. I had in my stash for quite some time. And then this is a little cherub also from Sa Crafters Zibit Store. It's very lightweight, so if you're mailing um, pieces out, it's not going to add a lot of weight to your project, and it's so beautiful. And then I added a little rhinestone heart 
and some pink feathers to that little cherub. I think it turned out really, really nice. Um, some more flowers. And then I, um, these are book pages, music note pages, and they're uh, covered in resin, and then the glitter is um, inside the resin. I learned how to make this from Sandra at Broke Crafter. Hello, Sandra. So, yeah, if you make it right, it's actually quite pliable, um, and so it's, it's sort of kind of got a rubbery feel to it. And this is um, just some paper. I think it's the London Market paper, and I use the Tim Holtz um, Angel Wing die cut, and then um, I cut those out and um, did accordion fold on them. There's another rolled book flower, and then this is um, a tag, store bought tag. It actually is fabric and it has adhesive on the back if you want to just put it on anything like a tag or something. And um, I just put it here and I used a Tim Holtz book plate. I distressed that with some um, gesso and then I um, put that over top Maison de Fleur, House of Flowers for those of you who love French. Um, yeah, I didn't really know um, what I wanted to do as far as putting a sentiment, so I just left it like that. And then some paper with script on it that I just added. And yeah, I think it turned out really great. I hope my partner absolutely loves it. Um, I had so much fun making it. Bye.